In a world where a pair of jeans can be had for 10 euros or less, these denim makers aren't afraid of 200 euro price tags. America and Europe step aside. The home of the most desirable denim today is Japan, where ancient oriental dyeing techniques are married with ultra-modern fabrics. It's not just about tradition, and that's what's interesting. It's tradition analyzed and reinterpreted for today. They're making different worlds live together, which is why they're a step ahead. Western designers have taken note. For high-end fashion, Japanese denim has cornered the market. You need jeans lined with cashmere, interwoven with silk, look no further. The aim in working with a Japanese jeans maker is to keep the idea of comfort and luxury that's part of my world. Unlike the Italians, the Japanese never felt that they had to add details or other things. The Japanese approach is more zen or minimalist. If you don't add things, you're drawing attention to the fact that what's really important is underneath the fabric. Japanese denim makers, some of whom have bought in vintage American weaving machines, say their secret is going back to the roots of denim. What the history of jeans in America and Japan have in common is that jeans were the clothes of working men. And in both countries, jeans makers play with changing colors due to the possibility of making indigo fade. Japan may never become a mass producer of jeans, but for the select high end of the luxury market, it could be an ideal fit. <laughs>